I'm just street reporter Cole Thranstad in Chesapeake. I'm standing in what is essentially the parking lot of Hickory Towing. The business, as you can see, sits on the very busy South Battlefield Boulevard where an eight-year-old boy was hit and killed on Tuesday. The owner of the business tells me specifically the boy appears to have been hit in front of a home just two driveways down. In the 1700 block of South Battlefield Boulevard Wednesday, there were no signs of the tragedy that occurred there Tuesday. But Hickory Towing owner Matthew Salento recalls the scene. There was at least 30 to 40 officers here you know, working the case. He has provided surveillance video from his business to investigators, but declined to provide it to News 3 Wednesday, saying he didn't want to interfere with the investigation. It hits home to everybody. It's tugging on everybody's heartstrings. He made a Facebook post offering $5,000 for information leading to the capture of whoever hit the boy. Word spread and other businesses pitched in, offering more and more money as the day went on, raising at least $50,000 by Wednesday afternoon. We all live in a better place when people do the right thing. Arliss Orum and Rachel Cox work at Travis Specialized Transport in Virginia Beach, one of the other businesses offering reward money. This family deserves closure. You know, we're parents, we have two boys, and I can't imagine what this family is going through. Orum is also a former Virginia Beach medic. He says cases like this are tough on first responders. It's crippling, you know, post-traumatic stress is a real thing. Um, first responders have a really hard time talking about it. You know, we internalize it, but it's something that's everlasting. He, Cox, and Salento all have one message for the driver who hit the boy. Just come forward. I mean, this, this is not going away. On Sunday from noon to 5, people are invited to come to this empty lot here behind me, just across the street from Hickory Towing, for a celebration of life for the young boy. In Chesapeake, Colter Instat, News 3.